The length of human pregnancies is approximately normal <clears throat> with a mean of 266 days. Standard deviation is 16 days. Complete parts A through F. What is the probability a randomly selected pregnancy lasts less than 260 days? So again, let's draw this out. And so go ahead and draw it out on paper. Let's see, put the mean 266 right below that standard deviation at 16. Put 260 somewhere to the left, 266, and then shade to the left, less than. If you'll do that before turning to the StatCrunch normal calculator, you'll get these right most of the time. Where I st see students miss it is when they go straight to the calculator because they just want to go in and get it done. Draw these out. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and change my mean, 266, standard deviation 16. We're at 260. Change this to less than, less than or equal to. And we get 0.3538, round to four places, 0.3538. Okay, so what does this mean? So it means if we were to select, it looks like they got it, they just picked 100, nice round number here. So if we had 100 pregnant individuals were selected from the population, we would expect about, so this is about 35% of 100, so about 35 of these to last less than 260 days. Definitely not exactly 260 days, right? Um, so it's a, about 35. So we, how do we get that again? 35% of 100. Now suppose a random sample of seven human pregnancies is obtained. Describe the sampling distribution of the sample mean length of pregnancies. Okay, so it says that the underlying population is normal, so we don't have to worry about the sample size requirement. This is gonna be normal. Uh, with the mean equal to the mean at 266. And recall the standard error, the standard deviation of the sample means is sigma 16 divided by the square root of n, in this case, 7. And when we do that, we get, see, rounded to four decimal places, 6.0474. And again, I recommend drawing these out, particularly when you're first learning them. Draw this out and then use the tool. Now the tool is pretty easy to use here because all we're gonna change is this one value. Standard deviation is gonna be 6.0474. Press compute. And now we get about 16%. So around to four places, so 0 0.1606. So let's interpret this result. So if 100 samples of size n were obtained, this population we'd expect to have, again, it's gonna be this, this less, 16% of 100 is 16. So about 16 samples would have a mean of 267, 260 days or less. What is the probability that a random sample of 49 pregnancies has a mean gestation period of six, 260 days or less. Again, I recommend drawing this out as we see here. I don't spend too much time figuring out exactly where I need to put that 260, just put it anywhere to the left. And we see we get a standard deviation is now 16 divided by square root of 49. Pop that in the calculator, you get 2.2857. And that's what I'm gonna put into my StatCrunch calculator. So again, my only difference here, I'm gonna change standard deviation we have a larger sample size, so we know that the variability decreases. And press compute, and we get 0 .00043. 0 0.0043. 0 0.0043. Okay, similarly, when we interpret this, if I had 100 independent samples of size 49, we expect to have a mean, yep, it's gonna be this top one. 0 0.0043 times 100, eh, I don't, really like, <laughs> I don't really like this right here. It'd be better if we said 1,000 samples. If we had 1,000 independent random samples, we would expect four of those random samples to have a sample being less than 260. With 100, really, we don't expect any. Uh, but that's just, just due to rounding. I'm hoping they'll take a zero here. If not, it'll be a, it'll be a one. But zero should be the right answer based on rounding. Yes. 
What might you conclude if a random sample of 49 pregnancies resulted in a mean gestation period of 260 days or less? Well, that's pretty unusual, right? So the result would be unusual. So the sample likely came from a population whose mean gestation period is indeed less than. It's probably not equal to. Definitely not more than. All right, so I hope that helps.